But me, patience, Annie, Ozoko, Alas, Mama G, I will not leave my house for any woman. That's a stranger. Oh, yeah. I will not leave my house for anybody. I've said this before. So a lot of people started attacking me. I said, for me. I'm not saying everybody should. I said, me. I will not leave my house for anybody. Because what you have, I have. And if, if you feel that my house is better for you than you getting your own, well, I would like to show you that the house belongs to me. I can't let you carry my box, my box of uh, this thing and, and go away. You just enter my house and carry my box and go away. Enter my house and carry. If the man wants to leave, let him live with you. Are you getting my point? Uh -huh. And if you are coming in to stay, well, okay, we are welcome. Let, let's let's dish it out. Recently, there have been some complaints from women that their husband cheat on them. To the extent that I see some homes breaking up because of this same issue. There has never been a time men don't cheat. I think it runs in their blood. Men cheat a lot. In fact, it takes the grace of God for strong men of God not to cheat. Strong men of God. Strong men of God. Because all that call themselves men of God are not. Because the Bible says, by their fruits, you shall know them. And I have met with a lot of them. Okay guys, so it's still your girl Dima at Sankram, the king of African culture. Guys, today I am with <laughs> someone very popular, someone that we all know she's very popular. Mama G, fashion sounds up G for general. <laughs> so guys, she's someone that the whole world, the whole world know. She's someone that have defined herself in the field of entertainment. She have carved an inch for herself in the field of entertainment. So guys, I'm live with her today. <laughs> so normal, for the sake of formality, I would just like allow her to introduce herself. I know you guys know her very, very well, but Mama, <laughs> please can you introduce yourself to my camera? <laughs> I am patience as of well, my fans call me Mama G G for general. G for general. <laughs> ah, Mama, I'm happy to be live with you here today. I'm happy. Thank you for welcoming me today. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Ma. Time any day. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Okay, ma'am. Okay, briefly let's talk about your let's talk about your career in entertainment. Let's talk about your career. Mm -hmm. It's a long journey. I like so many people know you as someone that is like a, when you talk of movie, you move you. They know you as a wicked woman, a wicked mother in law, uh, a wicked queen. <laughs> is, yeah, yeah, wicked. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that your real character or do you know you play in movies? Play. It says play. <laughs> they don't like play. It's not my real character. I, I am only interpreting a story telling a story from the writer's point of view, where I add things to make you understand really what the writer had at the back of his mind. Because the writer cannot put everything down on pen. Uh, so we, we actors, we expatiate on whatever, try to bring out the words that he could not write. Okay, so we, that's why it's real. <laughs> So how do you, like in real life, how do you feel when people see you and they feel like, wow, this person is so awkward. Cool. You don't know her. Anytime you see any movie and you see patients so so cool, ah, just know that the king is going to be in trouble. The daughter in law is going to be in trouble. Everybody in the palace is going to be in trouble. How do you feel? <laughs> Sometimes everybody in the palace rejoices. <laughs> Everyone is happy when I'm there. Well, okay. Um, well, I don't feel bad because I know that... Um, it is obligatory to me to interpret whatever story that is given to me. So I don't look at anybody's face. I don't even remember that anybody is watching me. What occurs to me is to let the person that wrote the script, the person that gave me the role, to know that I can really bring out what they have at the back of their minds. And then finally that my audience I'm looking forward to what I'm going to do next. So that gives me the energy to do more. To do more than I did in the other movies that end me the role I'm doing in the present one. <laughs> so for that reason, you do your best when you talk of wickedness. I am 
what naturally every anything i find myself to do i do it to the best of my knowledge it's my nature and that's why i i go but it's not easy to really interpret things like that eh? i go down the lane to learn interact with people like in the villages learn their way of life the way they react to thing issues and things like that uh, and i also uh, i have the privilege of uh, also living in the city i know people who feel they are learned they are educated uh, they are exposed the way they behave too so i can actually i can actually compare what what people do in their homes when i see it on scripts I remember and um, everybody even identical twins don't behave alike the different. something different from so I, I fish it out and I try to bring it to the public how do women see you do you go for a woman damn it yeah I'm a member of a uh, uh, mother General Umwanda Ngo, I'm the, I'm the fact I'm their patron. <laughs> and then in my village here, in Ngo, this is in Ngo village, I am the leader of women. I have been the leader of the women for more than six years. More than six years? Yes. And I, I am telling that I'm, I think someone else should try. You know, but they want me to continue so that we can consolidate a lot of things. So that if I'm handing over to somebody else, the trend will continue. So if I were, if I wasn't doing fine, I wouldn't be there. If I, I can't even say six. It's getting to like seven, eight months, uh, years. Yeah. Um, initially, when they were planning to like entrust that leadership on you, uh, didn't they see like, ah, patient is a wicked woman. No. She can't handle this role. No, 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 no. She's going they to treat know. us bad. No, they know me. No, that's why I say it's acting. They know me. A lot of them went to school with me. I grew up in their midst. They knew already who I was before they gave me the position. You understand? So they, they don't expect anything less than what I'm doing. In fact, they want me to do more. Yeah. I went to school here. My secondary school was here. Angihanga Secondary School. Ngo. So uh, you can see a lot of families, they know me. My mother is from here. My father is from here. My husband is from here. I don't have any relationship with outside Ungo through marriage or anything. Even my children all got married here in Ungo too. So everything about me is like Ungo. So there's nobody that does not know me. If I if I, I have that kind of character naturally, nobody will marry my children. <laughs> but uh, so you see, it's not it's not difficult for them to identify with me and know the things I can do and the things that they expect me to do. They expect me to build the image of uh, Ngo women. I feel those who come for meetings and then, because these women are that they go as far as delving into issues that concern families. When it is made public, they quickly intervene and they go in, um, you know, interview people and know where the problem is coming from and how to handle it. So we are always very busy, on our feet, two, two four, and seven days of the week. Okay, let's um, take this conversation down. Like, there, there are many issues now, many crises now in various families. The, um, from my findings, oh, I find out that most of these issues is as a result of uh, infighting between the mother-in-law and the daughter-in-law who to be in charge. You see, the mother-in-law is struggling to fighting to be in control of your household while the wife is also struggling to be in charge of her husband in families. Now, as a mother and someone that has a uh, daughter-in-laws and son-in-laws, and someone that played the role of, the role of uh, a mother-in-laws in different movies and all that, what do you think would be the cause of this thing and the solution to it? If you watch my movies, what I, what I play most of the time, what they give me to play, what they give me to play, it's usually the bad to, to showcase the bad mother mother in laws, you understand? Uh -huh. That's that's on me. You are in my house now. If my if my life is uh, 
chaotic. Everybody around here will be running Elta Skelter. Uh, but you see me go out to tell them, please, I'm shooting. They can calm down. Everybody is free to do as long as you are within the rules and regulations guiding the house. Don't overdo things. Don't and, and they all know it's just natural things. Don't insult or each other. Don't neglect instructions and, and things like that. And everybody is about their business with or without you. I just came in and everything is in order. You know, so uh, uh, the family, uh, every, uh, in, in the family, since they know that if it is your duty to wash the plate and you wash it, your, your daughter, how can you remain on top even when you have, there, there are areas where you remain on top when you have uh, daughters-in-law. Uh, for you to be on top, you need to let them bring their own new ideas because you are already getting, going down. Some of the things that you knew are fading away and then they are bringing new ideas, especially in this um, age and time where they can download anything from Google and then get information and then you watch them. And then some, sometimes I explain, we did this in our own time, but this is the way we did it. No, I can't continue to lord it over them, but they give me the respect as the mother of the house. That's what it is. They give me the respect as, as the mother of the house. If there's any new idea, they consult me, and then we share ideas, and then we carry it out. So nobody is stepping on anybody's toes. So my daughter-in-law has to. I came into this family. I enjoyed my husband, my relationship with my husband, my husband's siblings, and my mother-in-law. And then somebody else coming. I cannot wade you away from your husband. Though I am, I'm just, I'm just privileged to be the person's mother. And then you must give the person a chance to enjoy her husband. And then not forgetting, not relegating me to the background anyway. Uh, but there are, I can't sleep with my son now. Uh, so, but when it comes to issues, they come and ask for my idea, and we share it. Nobody is an island. Uh, one tree can never make a forest. So, uh, it's usually even in the olden days, the in the traditional Igbo setting. Nezinono, nezinono, but nezinono. The mother of the house, and then the other younger ones pay allegiance to her. And then take over the kitchen, take over some of the things that she, she used to do, and do it. And then she sits back and watch them. And that's the joy of life. The joy of life is that you don't remain there all the time. At a time, you become the queen. I am the queen mother in my house, yes. And all other younger mothers pay allegiance to me and do their thing. I don't interfere. I only interfere when they need my attention. That is it. This issue of uh, modern and daughter is just like not agreeing to each other. Uh, 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 quarreling or something like that. Sharing new things or bringing up ideas like, okay, this one is this, let's do it this way, let's do it this way. No, 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 that's a cake. That's something that used to be done in those days. No. Uh, in fact, if I dress and I want to go, my daughter-in-law will say, Mama, no, I don't like this dress. Uh -huh. Or I go to buy dresses. I don't wait for my sons to buy dresses for my daughters-in-law. I buy their dresses. Oh my goodness. My, the, my sons, as they don't even remember that they have to attend to their in-laws. I'm the one that remembers that mother-in-law, my in-law, the, the, the daughter just gave birth. I'm the one that, in fact, from the time they want to engage their, their, their wives, they'll come and tell me, Mama, is this what I say? This is the one you want. And we pray over it. And they go, say, okay, go ahead. I am the one that will buy ring and give her. <laughs> yes, they, they, they give me that privilege. I buy the ring. And when you remember that, is this woman that gave you this ring? You will respect me. I'm not looking for somebody that will worship me. I just need somebody to recognize that there's an older one that was there because I have old pots. We are only going to buy new ones. <laughs> they normally come to you when they have issues. They normally come to you first before their husband. Like, yes, incidentally, we don't have such cases because, uh, like my son, the youngest one that is around now, is um. Is a pastor, 
<laughs> and then the other one uh, in UK, I just come and they welcome me, they attend to me until I leave. So we have never had such issues before. But I'm sure that if anything arises, anything arises, we, we will settle it. We will make it. And well, my own, yes, I can remember there was a day she came and uh, complained something to me. I called my son and told him, I told him, I said, you can't handle somebody's daughter like that. Because my daughter cannot marry into somebody's house and they handle it this way. So go sort yourself out. And then the thing is settled fast and quick. And you know, because and I have to be like that because anything that happens in the family, people will think you are the cause of whatever it is. And knowing what I used to ask in the movie, they say, hi, hey, you know. So I try to avoid things like that. So there has never arisen anything, any reason for such a thing to happen. But if it does, I will handle it. Nobody outside will hear it. Oh, yeah. The last thing I will want anybody to do is to come from your house to settle matter in my house. No. There's so much peace here. I love peace a lot. I love I love to play with everybody. I love to share things. If you see where we chat, just come to the. If I want to take you to the kitchen, we have the in, the kitchen, in house kitchen, and we have the out, uh, outside kitchen, and that's where we all sit and talk and eat. Everybody, the dining has not experienced our gathering together. We eat in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> the outside kitchen, for that matter, all of us we sit down there, we talk and we eat. And that, that is life. And moreover, I'm not always at home. I'm always on my way out to shoot movies here and there. I stay days, months before coming home. So when you come, the, the, the fact that you left your house for a long time, you want to come back and enjoy your house. East or West, home is the best. Yes, <laughs> okay, well, my century there have been some complaints from women that their husband cheat on them to the extent i see some homes breaking up because of this same issue when you were growing up was there anything any issue like cheating like when you were growing up there has never been a time men don't cheat i think it runs in their blood men cheat a lot in fact it takes the grace of god for strong men of god not to cheat Strong men of God. Strong men of God. Because all that call themselves men of God are not. Because the Bible says, by their fruits, you shall know them. And I have met with a lot of them. I have seen that I have met them in functions and other. I, I am not pleased with a lot of men of God. I'm pleased with them. I'm not pleased with a lot of them, yes. Because if you say you are shit, I, I want to see shit in you. If you say you are an angel, I want to see the angel in you. Uh, so, uh, uh, all the same, there are still men of God. Men who carry God, who move with God. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, for those people, cheating is not in their... They don't even have time. You understand? And the devil is after them, sending those girls to come do the pretend as if they, 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 they discover them fast, fast, and, and, and cast them out. But for those other ones that are not really this thing, they can get easily distracted and they fall for it. So men, I'm talking about men of God, but naturally, most men, most, there, even in the most, there are still some who, are, who have integrity. It is not good for men to cheat on their wives, but it is very common these days. I don't know, I don't know if it's a trend in town now, if it's what... Uh, uh, um, social media has brought to us. Uh, so I don't know where it's coming from, but all the same, we are praying and fighting it. We are but me, patience, Annie Ozoko, alias Mama G, I will not leave my house for any woman. That's a stranger. Oh, yeah. I will not leave my house for anybody. To advise a woman that find out that the husband is cheating on her. I said this before. So a lot of people started attacking me. I said, for me, I'm not saying everybody should. I said, me, I will not leave my house for anybody. Because what you have, I have.
And if you, if you feel that my house is better for you than you getting your own, well, I would like to show you that the house belongs to me. I can't let you carry my box, my box of uh, this thing and, and go away. You just enter my house and carry my box and go away. Enter my house and carry. If the man wants to leave, let him live with you. Are you getting my point? Uh -huh. And if you are coming in to stay, well, okay, we are welcome. Let, let's let's dish it out. I will leave my house for anybody. I will leave your house for anybody. I'm bow. I don't know a stranger. Like seriously, like seriously. <laughs> How can? If okay, would you want to leave your house for anybody? And then, in, in, in case you already have children, so you leave your house, you leave the children, and the strange woman will come and be taking care of your children. Can you imagine? You can, you can do anything to those children. You can poison them. You can teach them wrong things. You can uh, uh, change their mindset. Yeah, but you still okay. If you don't want to stay, and let's see who runs, then the man you can go away. When you are yeah, when you are done, you come back to the house because naturally they normally come back. <laughs> Check it out. They, they, come, they back. come back. <laughs> The man decided to live with the wife, the new one. Live with the new one. That's what I'm saying. They live with the new one. Later, they, 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 they will discover that old wine. They will come back. Yes. They will. If they don't want to come back, it's okay. Go and ask them inside, inside their suffering. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not the way it started. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the way it started. I know one down the village there. Like the beautiful, elegant woman went and started sleeping with another woman that was, was once married and left the husband's house, brought her children, and then they are living together. And then he's not even taking care of the wife and the children. It, it does that make sense? It means that the man is operating under some influence. <laughs> so I, I will help you correct your brain. Reset it. Reset it. <laughs> then if you refuse to stay so that I can help you to reset it, you can go with the woman. Leave me and my children. I must be with my children. I want to raise. If God gives me life to live, I want to raise my children by myself. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Very, very. <laughs>